This is the murky story of Britain's waters. For 49 hours straight, raw sewage spilled out into a protected marine habitat. But just what lies beneath the water here on the outskirts of Portsmouth at Langston Harbour? So I'm standing right now on a sewage pipe. It's pretty messy. It doesn't smell great, I have to be honest. And we do know that if you can see that triangle over there, last year, 750 hours worth of raw waste was released from there into the surrounding sea area. And you've just got to ask yourself, what kind of effect is that having on the marine life here? Bianca is part of a group of citizen scientists who, along with the University of Portsmouth and Brunel, have been getting their hands dirty to find out exactly that. Bianca, hello. Hi. It's lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? You make waders look glamorous. Thank you very much. <laughs> The harbour is home to protected marine life and Bianca is on a mission to investigate what's really lurking in the sewage here. Obviously it's gross, but we wanted to know a little bit more, dive a bit deeper and actually share a, shine a light on that. So we set up Project Spotlight where we were going to test water, take water samples and take some samples of some creatures so we could have a look at actually what that water effect is having on them. It's come straight through the toilets, wow. pumped it straight out into our, into our harbour, into this beautiful harbour and there's so many creatures that live here and they have to be in that 24 7 so it is absolutely astonishing that it continues to happen and we're hoping that our results can actually shine a bit of a light as to what's in that untreated sewage and the results are in and they're surprising hundreds of hours of untreated sewage raw waste just dropped into the water here we knew that but what is kind of unbelievable is that they also found cocaine ecstasy antidepressants, antibiotics, and then there's the marine love who are just living in this chemical cocktail. We don't want our food on tap. And after a summer of protests and widespread anger about the dirty water we're spending our holidays swimming in, for wildlife we're learning the impact can be much more deadly. The impacts of chemical pollution can be quite far reaching and wide ranging. Um, so we see some really obvious effects in the environment. So things like population declines, um, and collapses, so some species have become critically endangered from chemical pollution. And you can see the marine life feeling the full effects of swimming in substances here. The crosses are shrimps under the influence of antidepressants. It changes their behaviour, it makes them swim faster, it makes them more attracted to the light. If you change their behaviour, it usually results in them either getting eaten a lot quicker or perhaps not finding mates when they need to, uh, because an organism needs to be behaving normally, let's say, to actually function and uh, carry on um, reproducing and producing more offspring for the next generation. Now, spills of untreated sewage here are legal in periods of exceptionally wet weather. But looking at the volume of waste being dumped, scientists question whether it's right for it to be happening as often. We pay the water companies to actually treat that sewage and not pump it out completely untreated as, as many of them do. We contacted Southern Water about the issues in this area, but nobody was available to be interviewed. Instead, a spokesperson said, approximately 95% of all wastewater is treated to some of the highest standards in order to maintain river levels and provide a stable ecological environment for aquatic life. The Environment Agency is responsible for holding water companies to account, but Channel 4 News can exclusively reveal that in the last 10 years its funding has been cut, in real terms by 47%. The number of water samples taken by the agency fell by 51% and there was a 94% drop in prosecutions against water companies. But the Environment Agency told us we continue to take tens of thousands of water quality samples every year. Where we find that water companies have fallen below the high standards we set, we will not hesitate to follow up with legal action. While experts say chronic underfunding means the effects of waste on our wildlife is simply going unmonitored, leaving citizen scientists like Bianca to wade through the damage.